Hello, this is Daniel March, and today I'm going to be doing another uh, review. This is going to be for Lobo Issue 3, Ghost, 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 whatever. Um, before I begin, though, 10 seconds spoiler warning as usual for those who have yet to actually um, read this comic issue and haven't already. Stop the video, go check it out, and come back and watch the rest of this review. 10 seconds spoiler warning as usual, starting now. Okay, so 10 seconds are up, so for those who have yet to actually read this comic issue and haven't already, um, please don't comment down below or be messaging me, then never give you a fear warning, as usual, I did. Okay, so Lobo, issue 3, Ghost, what did I think of it? As usual, quick synopsis, likes and dislikes, and in the rates. So this um, issue starts off with a flashback, um, so yeah, so throughout this comic series, you sometimes have flashbacks from Lobo, so from before he became a bounty hunter, um, which most of them are pretty cool, it gives more depth, depth. To the character, um, you no, know, it's just about his original life. You know, uh, him preparing to be a warrior, or him about his love life. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, him here, right here, it's just him training. Um, so yeah, uh, basically in this issue, um, he's he, he and his team from the previous issue, and we're tracking down this one assassin, a bounty hunter, um, who is known to ha to wear the um a Divers suit and tr and teleport and transport a lot. Um, just to give you an idea. So yeah, um, basically they need to stop him, kill him, and to just get one step closer to their ultimate goal, which is take out every other pro professional bounty hunter and then get to the second level of their mission. Um, so yeah, which they eventually do take him out. They they do take out this bounty hunter, um, in a pretty interesting way. And basically, they intercept his teleportation, um, just to leave him to blow up, more or less, or, yeah, they basically kill him halfway through transportation, um, or teleportation, so that was pretty cool, in my opinion. Uh, next up, they have to, they're tracking this one bounty hunter, um, Snake Omega, right there, they say his name, Snake Omega, and he kind of reminds me of Star-Lord, um, just the way he looks. Kinda of reminds me of Star Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, yeah, the one with the red hood right there. Um, right there. Yeah, that's the one. There's, that's the next assassin they have to take out. Um, again, kind of reminds me of Star Lord. And then at the end, um, it, super, uh, Superman comes. Um, Superman comes, or or seemingly uh, a ghost of Superman. Um, kind of just comes, so hence the name Ghost, um, which is pretty interesting. It says pick up uh, the next Superman issue if you want to re find out more. I may or may not pick it up. I have no idea. I mean, I don't pick up Superman um, that often. Um, not the current stuff. Um, usually, if I pick up Superman, it's the back issues. So if I'm, I'm, I doubt I'm going to pick it up at least right now, immediately. So yeah. Um, it was a it was a pretty good issue. It was, um, it was it was a great issue in my opinion. Um, the artwork and the writing, in my opinion, opinion are some of the best stuff about this this comic line or comic uh, story or whatever. Um, some of the best stuff in my opinion. And this and Suicide Squad, um, I think are the two books that DC is um the best stuff that DC is working on. Um, Sandman Overture is another great thing they are working on. Um, so, I mean, I know they have other things work, they work on, like the Batman, Batman Eternal, or, um, or the Superman Batman stuff, and the Wonder Woman stuff, and the Justice League. And I heard those are pretty cool, but, uh, from the things I have started on, um, Lobo and Suicide Squad are pretty good. I, I tried, um, Deathstroke number one, and I, and that, that one was weird in my opinion. I didn't like it, so I'm not gonna pick that one up. Um, so yeah, I mean, Lobo number three, it's a pretty good issue. Great artwork, great writing, writing in my opinion. Um, yeah, the actions in, is pretty intense and pretty good, even despite the fact that they are drawings. So I mean, really, there's n the only bad thing about it is I, I find this team a uh, team, team members a bit annoying. But I hopefully through time, uh, I'll get used to them. So yeah, I mean, it's a pretty great issue. Definitely do pick up Lobo if you haven't already. It's on, it's only on issue three, so you can always catch up on it. And yeah, that's basically it for this review. Um, but on a rate of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, and 6 being decent, I give this issue an 8.5 out of 10. 
pretty good as you definitely do check it out. And yeah, that's basically it for this review. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book reviews. So definitely do stay tuned for that. Besides that, comment down below on your thoughts on this comic. If um comic, have you read it? And if not, why not? And if you have, what are your thoughts on it? Comment on that down below. Let me know. Like the videos on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Marks signing off.